Hey, hey, how's it going? So I'm gonna be making a new sling for this AR that I just got. And I'm going to be making a King Cobra paracord weave. And I'm gonna show you the steps that you gotta take. So to start out, I just took one piece of paracord and I tried a few different sizes and locations to connect to my AR here. And I decided to go with these two points here at the front and this little buttstock plate that I bought separately. And so I tied on the paracord here and I found a size that I'm pretty comfortable with. And so it's all around a good size for me. And I'm gonna go from there. So I have a few obstacles on this here. I'd like to keep this out to the side here somehow. And I'd like to keep this part here out to the side here as well. So that when I go in to reach for it, it's not in the way of my hand. So we're at about 52 inches. All right, so I just pulled a little strand through here. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a, a short little Weave right here. Just your standard cobra weave. And I'm going to make this very tight because if you make it tight, it's going to be very rigid. And that's kind of what I want right now, at least for this part. The rest of the strap, I'm going to make it pretty loose. But I want this to be real rigid so that it shoots this out to the side a little bit. Right, so that gives me a little bit of diff distance here. This little carabiner won't be able to slide over the uh, paracord here, so I'll have to stay in this position. So it'll always be ready to go on that side. And I don't need to extend out further than that. That should be good. All right, so these are the colors I decided to go with. Kind of this yellow, green, black, brownish, mixed with black at first for the first initial weave. And then I'm gonna come back over it with probably just this camo color here. Kind of a tan and green just to cover up some of the bright yellow, make it not too bright. But, so I want to find out, here's the shorter one. The shorter one's going to be in the middle. The longer one's going to be on the outside. So you tighten that up. And I'm going to do the same thing with the black one here. Keep the short one on the middle inside and keep the long one on the outside here. All right, so I got this little black vertical loop right here on the right side, which means I want to start on the, on the right side now. Let's take it over. Take this one through the tail of the fish. And through the hole. Now that vertical loop is on the left side, so I'm going to start on the left side. All right, now that I got that pretty tight, I'm going to start loosening it up. The you don't have to worry about remembering where you are. Just look where that vertical loop is, and that's where you're gonna start. If you need to take a break, you can always come back and not have to worry about it. So, keep doing that until you get close to what you're reaching for. I measured it again to make sure, you know, I wanna be at about 49 inches. So, once I get down there pretty close, I'll measure it and see when I'm getting close, tie it off. And then I'll start working the uh, 
the same weave over the top of this, which makes a king cobra, makes it a little bit thicker. All right, so I got the first first weave done at about 49 inches, and I noticed that it might be a tiny bit short, so it's good to tie it off and try it out before you continue the second weave. Make sure it's good to go. I think it might be a tiny bit short if I'm wearing like a heavy jacket or something. So I'm gonna go back and add, add maybe another couple of inches. So I just tied one single knot with the uh, center cords and it real tight. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them pretty close. And use a lighter to center them up. too close, you want to have a little bit of a tag to work with, just in case. So I have a uh, 25 foot here, this uh, multi camo. I'm gonna melt the end of it to this tan desert camo. basically just getting every uh, every knot within the previous knots. This takes quite a while. 
But in the end, it's worth it. We got cool letters. It's pretty cool. All right, so here's the finished product. Works great, very comfortable. So you can wear it on the green side or you can flip it over and wear it on the tan side. If you ever run out of cordage, you can always see I turned from the green to the tan here and just melted it together right there and added a little bit more.